once again welcome to my workshop. Today we're going to do another 3D carving uh, in another piece of that um, recycled oak planking and this time it's going to be my version of the Mona Lisa except this one I'm gonna title the Moaning Lisa. So you can see in the screen over there that I've already put it into our cam from a grayscale. I'll just show you the grayscale picture now. Okay, so this is a, a grayscale. So I put it into at cam, converted the grayscale. And all grayscale is, uh, is 256 different shades of gray. Now what at cam does is allocate a Z height in relation to the grey um, colour, the, the individual grey colour. So as it, the picture is darker, it's a deeper cut till you get to black, then it's the absolute deepest part of the picture. And of course the, the lightest and brightest parts are in the foreground, or the, the shallowest part of the picture. So that's how ATCAM determines uh, a photograph, a grayscale photograph or a scanned image to be able to create a 3D, 3D relief. Now what I've done uh, with this particular relief is I have only, shall we say, um, smoothed the whole relief with just one application of the uh, smooth relief tool. Um, I've left it very, very slightly motley. I, I want to give it the, a very, very slight amount of, um, shall we say, you know, sort of a, a, an actual painting. So I want it slightly, very, very slightly, subtly marked and not completely smooth. So that's what I'm going to attempt with um, this particular relief. So we'll um, just get a piece of material set up on the, the 6012, PT6012 now, and we'll get started with machining it. Okay, I've got some parallel lines drawn on my waste sheet, so I can very easily line this up square with the, the, the with the cutter and now everything's going to be absolutely fine okay I've loaded the file into Mark 3 over there now and if you notice Mark 3 thinks that this file is somewhere over in this corner here um, because that is the leftover um, shall we say information that Mark 3 has from the last project so now uh, with the pendant there we go. Um, another question too that I'll, I'll answer um, a number of you are saying or asking me I have a dust shoe and a dust collection system, why don't I use it to <laughs> when I'm using the machine? Well the simple answer is um, a significant number of you have, well not complained, but mentioned to me that you can't really see what's going on with the tool and you'd like to see more of what the tool is cutting. Uh, now I was a uh, video went through the little uh, flap uh, access door at the front uh, and for some you know I know it is awkward and uh, well because this material isn't that dusty um, so what I what I'm doing the, the next couple of projects uh, I've removed the boot uh, so you can actually see what's going on a little better so I'll bring the tool over now and zero the 
x and y, then we'll use the z height tool um, detector, <laughs> we'll call it, um, to zero the z. So I'll zoom in to this area so you can see better what's going on. So what I'm doing is, um, because a lot of you are asking me about the pendant, this is a radio pendant, um, how it works. Well, I can tell you about the operation of the controls. Uh, really, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a, I believe it's a, uh, either a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi communication with the computer. Okay. So now I've got the Y selected, and I'm bringing it up, and I can alter the the feed rate uh, by this switch here to a very, 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 very small amount. So each individual division here is about a thousandth of an inch or so. Uh, of course it's a little bit slow for what we want now so we ramp it up a bit. It's very very controllable and very precise. Okay, uh, so X and you know you, you will get proficient with it. Uh, you also get the readout here and the percentage in jog that's what this window uh, says here percentage in jog this gives you information about the radio transmission in other words the good the computer and this thing is reading each other very very good same as a mobile phone sort of information battery condition and of course this little stag uh, indicates to you what you have selected because <laughs> you don't want to go moving this the wrong direction you know, and as much as you can, keep your fingers away from the tool, and um, never have the actual uh, router or spindle switched on and running while you're trying to zero things, because uh, sometimes you, you, your hands can get quite close, and you do not want to get your hands anywhere near that tool. Okay. So the simple thing to do here is now shut it back a little bit or reduce the rate. So you can see it's very very controllable. Now we'll bring it down in the Z. And it is very 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 controllable. Now you can see how much I'm moving this. And the actual fact we can... Very very controllable indeed. I don't really want to come down any closer to the material with that now because I want to move it, the, it round in the Y and the, the X. Now you can be as precise as you really want here. Uh, turn to the X, I want to bring it over this way a bit. Of course, as we're dealing with wood here, you know, we, you know, <laughs> within 10 thou is absolutely fine. I'm going to call that good. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now is lift. Lift the Z, lift the tool up off the work a bit. I'm just going to go over to Mark 3 and just zero the X and Y. I've shown you in other videos how to actually do that, so it's not really you know, worth me sort of showing you more information about that again. So, with this, you just put on the top of the material like that and press the function key and 9. And the tool will come down and register the Z height and then retract to the safe position. So now we're ready.
to machine. So there you have the finished item. The Moaning Lisa. That's turned out quite nice. So there's about, um, about two and three quarter hours of machining time there. Um, because of the, the detail uh, in this particular one, this turned out very very nice very presentable um, the value of this you are probably looking at between 60 and 70 dollars uh, if you was going to um, 
purchase one of these. It's in um, in excess of 80 year old oak. It's a re, uh, recycled plank of oak and um, like I say there's, there's quite a lot of detail in this and they're very sought after. Another finished 3D relief into a picture in it's oak. Beautiful. So I hope you've liked this video today and if you have please uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you press the little red box down in that corner if you're looking at this on a computer or a television screen uh, that will take you directly to my YouTube channel where there's now 190 videos ranging from CNC routing, um, Mac 3 which is the controlling program that controls the CNC router, also ATCAM uh, which is the program that puts these types of 3D reliefs from either a grayscale or um, an STL file, 3D relief file, uh, and puts it together and writes the G code for the CNC machine to produce something like this and much more. Um, also, I do some tu tutorial on NC Studio. I know there's a lot of people out there with uh, machines using NC Studio, so I try and provide a little information on NC Studio as well. Um, let me see, there's uh, information there and videos on 3D printing, um, different shop jobs I do around here. Um, I do quite a lot of wood turning now, that's been very successful. Uh, for us. Um, also, I do some toy making as well, which is I find very interesting. So, I hope you join me again, and uh, from me now it's bye for now.